I'm going to pour my tea here. Hope everybody's having a nice, relaxing Sunday. We discovered a lot in Outer Wilds the last time we played, a couple days ago. Uh, so I'm very eager to see what we get to. Oh, right, if I click off the game, it freaks the fuck out. That's fine. We'll go ahead and resume. So where did we leave off? We found those secret rooms, or at least we found two of them. So there's one more that we have to find. Um, and then those were leading us to other places as well. So I'm very curious to see how that, what that's gonna lead to. We're gonna have to go check our ship's log. It's all, it's so easy to forget what was like just happening the last time I played, even though that was just like a day or two ago. Um, I didn't get around to checking my VOD to see if we could find the theater again, so I'm definitely gonna try to find that. I hope it's not gonna be too tough, because I don't remember exactly where it is. I'm getting more and more tempted to just play, um, uh, to just like draw out my own map for this game. Like the more I play it, the more I'm like, I could draw, I could just draw a map. That, that'd be fine. Secret location hidden. So this is the one we haven't found yet. So maybe we should start here. Oh, this is, this is across from the tower. That's interesting. There's a little like pool here. Uh, why don't we start with that? That seems interesting. We'll find the next map projection room. That gives us a bit of direction just to jump off. Let's buckle up. Lock on. For some reason, it's not letting me, uh, toggle this on. Maybe my controller is showing its age. It also means I can't, like, slow down. <laughs> I'm gonna be going right past it. We're back to the basics of how to fly. Man, I wish I could lock on to it. That's that's fine. I'm curious what my velocity was matching because I'm still not locked on to it. Good. Oh, good enough. Good enough. Excellent, excellent. All right. Door. Perfect. Oh, we're on the, we're at the wrong entrance, actually. It's kind of funny. Or not really the wrong entrance, just not the one I expected to be at. So that's where we want to go, this little cove in here. If I'll see the oh no I don't want to go up don't I don't want to go up I don't want to go up don't take me ah oh, it's gonna take me that's fine man is this the way that I came the, like the very first time I played I wonder because maybe this will like I don't think it is no no I don't think it is that's fine I still want to find that other uh, code machine? I don't know what to call it. Um. Let 
the little code input key. Oh, okay. Ah! Keep going, keep going. Okay, so we want to go this way. Maybe? Oh yeah, no, I'll be able to get up here. I've got, I've got jetpacks. We're good. Uh, maybe this isn't the right spot. There's no water here. Well, let's look around regardless, since we're here. Oh yeah, this is where I want to be. So there's something hidden around here. Don't know if it's underwater. Oh. Found it. That was fast. Oh, it's always so spooky. Oh, we've got a little path there, too. All right, well, let's start here. And there is our... Aw, oh, selfie! Look at us. We're adorable. We're so cute! Okay. Um, good. Take this. Pick this up. slide reel. Oh, so glad that, that I get that. <laughs> I always get so nervous that, like, I'll fuck it up somehow and then get trapped in there and have to reset the loop. I'm sure that's happened many a time. Where are we? Which room is this. Ah, okay. So... Here's the slide reel room. I could have gone up the staircase, but no. Why would I do such a thing? Alright. This would also, it's a good thing we did this first, because it would have been very difficult to find at the end of the loop. So you have to go underwater. Probably be impossible. I'm gonna borrow one of these, thanks. We're not really in a rush, but it kind of feels like it. And water. So this is the, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, there's like something in my throat. Um, this is the same first reel as the previous ones that we looked at. <clears throat> so we're looking at the tower there. Oh, this is that device that's at the burned shrine that we try to do something with, and we can't, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we're there, we go back. The guy takes the thing. Ooh, okay. Oh, 
Hell yeah. Oh, you guys, we figured it out. Oh, that was so quick. I think that was the whole thing too, right? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I knew that there was something about this building and so this area, right? Like, there had to be. Oh, we're gonna... Should we go do it right now? I'm, like, nervous and excited. What else, like... I don't have any other leads right now. Um... For that one, we want to be here, actually. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we want to be here. We're exactly where we want to be. Oh, this is so cool. Sometimes you just gotta, like, come to this game with a fresh, fresh mind after some sleep. Let's fucking go. Oh, I don't have the thing. Shit. You know what? I want the most time. I want the most time possible on this area. So let's let's restart. Save us some backtracking and just losing five minutes. And that five minutes is going to be important. I am pretty certain that this is going to take us a few minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, or I'm going to get the shit scared out of me. Either way. Um. I like seeing the little satellite there every time. So it should still be highlight... Man, I might have to grab my other controller. This is annoying. Do I even have one in here? This might be the only PlayStation controller I have right now. Didn't even need it. Don't need this anymore. Uh, oh, were there any logs that I got from that? Hell yeah, there were. Burning slide room and then the secret hall. We're going straight to the secret hall. I'll read that later. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't realize that I had parked sideways. All right, which entrance are we at? Oh, good. This is the one I wanted. It's nice doing an, an earlier stream. I, like, have more energy. I'm, like, more excited. When I stream at night, I'm just, like, more scared. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something about the darkness outside, or... I don't know. And away we go. Bridge! Hello! I've got a sword? Kinda. I've got these little grabby hands. Bridge, how are you doing today? Whew. How is that game you're playing, by the way? It looks very different. Uh, very different from um, Outer Wilds. Oh, you've got a sword. Yeah! Yeah, you do. Congratulations on... Uh, mod promotion. 
If you ever don't want Mod Sword, just let me know. Uh, I know we had talked about it previously, but I, I am always a little bit, um, I, I, I'm trying, I can't think of the right word. Um, put, put off is too harsh. Um, concerned is too dramatic, but every, every now and again, like, may, being, I, I don't always want a mod is, is what, what I'm trying to say. So, that has happened to me once or twice. Um, the platforming in Chant- is it Shantae? Uh, is really fun, but it's a tad inappropriate, but not over the line. Gotcha, gotcha. You're happy to be mod. Hell yeah! Uh, let's doze off. Orc, hello! You guys, you guys, I figured out something amazing, and I am like- so excited. I'm so excited for this. Um, I also have a small announcement that I was going to make at some point during the stream. I don't know if I'm going to make it right now or I'll, I'll probably repeat myself a couple of times, but um, on Saturday, I'm going to be hosting a live event on Twitch for Boston Festival of Indie Games. Um, and I'm going to be interviewing and demoing um, games live uh, that are created oh I am going the wrong way created by local developers um, although actually because it's a virtual event developers are going to be from all over but these will be for games that are already out but also games that are in development so I, I recommend stopping by the stream and checking it out um, or even stop by the event and play some games for yourselves it is a free event um with a suggested donation of five dollars uh but it is absolutely not required um but yeah i'm gonna be talking about that a little bit throughout the stream today uh and a lot on discord i don't want to go up there okay So, in, in case you're unaware, if that red light sees us and the bell goes off, um, it will wake us up. Okay. I don't know why I rotated that. So, what we're looking for, we found a scroll that showed a hidden door. Here it is. Oh, you guys, I'm, I'm so nervous, but so excited. There it is. Oh, fuck. Of course it's an elevator. Of course it's an elevator. God damn it. Oh. Oh, but it's already down. We're going up. Oh, we're fine then. Only Bad things only happen when you go down, not up, right? Chat hold you. You're spooked already. Oh. oh. But then who's gonna hold me? Here, here we go. Uh, extinguish. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Wait, why are they all going down? I can't see jack shit. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I just kind of want to wait for a second. Oh, I'm so afraid. Is something behind me? Not yet. Oh no, okay, all right. I, I think I get it, I think I get it. So when we extinguish the lights, the guys that are like... The guys that are like there waiting that we can hear are uh, now down there. And I, I bet they're gonna be searching for us. 
which is horrifying. How do I leave, though? Oh. I bet I have to wake up. Let's wake up. <gasps> we'll wake up and then we'll doze back off and it'll start us back at the beginning, which is where we want to be anyways. Fuck, you guys. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm not ready. Uh, Allie, I, um, you can't stay. You're heading out the door right now. I'm going to leave a lurk. Thanks for the lurk, Allie. Have a great day. Um, I will chat with you later, I am sure. Uh, I'm also scared for my life right now. Um, oh, shit. I can't actually light the candles anymore. The candles are out permanently now. Oh, you guys. This is horrible. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. This is so scary. <laughs> oh, man. After that one jump scare, I'm just like low key horrified about the potential of anything happening. Because, like, that last time was a um, hundred percent. Like, I did something and the game responded immediately, right? Oh, the elevator went back up. That's horrifying. <gasps> There's one. Oh, fuck. My heart is pounding. Absolute. Oh, I fell in the water. <gasps> Shit. Fuck. Fuck this. Who whose idea was this game? Who I have a I want to have a word with the game developers because they definitely didn't need to do this and decided to just fuck with us. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shit myself. I don't have enough, I like feel like I don't have enough time now, but. I'm gonna need like an antacid after this. Just something. Time for marshmallows. Yeah, let's just, let's just eat marshmallows for the rest of the loop. Um. Also, why am I drinking caffeine? Like, I have tea next to me. Why would I do that to myself? Oh, God. Just march forward. Just don't even think about it.
don't know what the fuck that noise is. <laughs> it's this oh this sucks also hello welcome in cyan is it cyan gore let me know let me know if you have a preferred pronunciation for your name hello uh thought process must have been everybody hates the angler fish let's make a whole dlc around something even more scary yeah i swear they were like we want some good clips we want to see clips of people shitting their pants and they're getting it they're winning <laughs> Yeah, welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, God, that... <laughs> that really got me. It's worse because I was expecting it. I don't know. Like, the last time one of these guys scared me, Cyan, um, I, I went out of bounds. I, um was walking on a platform and I went off the platform to like look at something and I didn't die from the fall and I just like turned around and there was a guy there and he just got me um so that one was just like true jump scare wasn't expecting it but this I'm like <laughs> all right uh we're getting I, that was the dam breaking so we're kind of running out of time uh no no let's try again let's let's try again we're just gonna we're gonna fucking try again Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck that noise. I've also already turned my headphones down a lot. So if I turn them down more, it'll mute it. <laughs> like, it's, it's loud. Like, don't get me wrong. It's loud in my headphones, but just, like, because of the, the way that, um... I guess I could... I don't know. I would have to tab out of the game to actually turn my computer down and then turn my headphones up and I don't want to do that but it also means I'm stuck with my headphones a little bit louder than I want oh dear lord I'm wondering if that noise comes up when they're, like, close. I'm just standing still. I don't know, should I just fucking go? Damn. Okay. I'm not sure how to get around him. How do I get around him? Like, there's there's very clearly two paths, but they where they intersect is where he's spotting me. I'm glad that one didn't scare me, though. <laughs> I guess it helps when you know what to expect. It's like, okay, there is a guy here. He is pacing. Now I know. Um... I'm gonna- I'll figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna get- get to that center area. Totes throw marshmallows as bait, right? Yeah, instead we've got some amnesia bullshit where they put stuff everywhere that you can't interact with. Maybe that's why it's so scary. Maybe that's why I like it so much, because it really does play into the amnesia fears that I feel. All right, there he is. Oh, I just saw my neighbor on their porch and that 
freaked me out. Damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> I can just walk off the walk off the edge. Okay. All right. I normally wouldn't BRB 30 minutes into a stream, okay? I I have to use the bathroom because I don't know. I'm just I'm afraid and that doesn't help. That doesn't help. I'll be I'll be like just 30 seconds. Don't 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 even worry about it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I was just like, I started the stream feeling like totally fine, you know? And then I was like, let's go explore this one, like, you know, rel this safe area, right? We'll explore this safe secret passage. Um, and then that'll lead us to another secret passage that's not fun. But yeah, it was like, if I wait another 30 minutes and there's like a really good jump scare, I will, I will, I will have an accident, so. <laughs> uh, where are we? Okay, let's reset the loop. Uh, there's not enough time left on this to, to really give it a good couple of attempts, so. Let's, let's just, let's just give it another go. Uh... Wait. What? Did I not do it? I like, oh, I slept. I just went to sleep. I went to sleep instead of meditating. Oh, dear God. That was so scary. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bigger scare than the last one or not, but it was close. Oh, man. Same, man. Deep breaths. Uh, after playing this, I'm not gonna want to play any horror games for a while. I think I'm like, I think I'm good. Man, my controller must be busted. Just uh, click it. That's fine. No biggie. We'll just, we'll try to mimic what it looks like. <laughs> Wow, that actually worked shockingly well. Except we're gonna crash right into it. That's so weird. When I get really close, I can adjust. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It doesn't need to go anywhere. Poor ship. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Give me this.
We're gonna be real quick. We want we want all the time that we have to fuck this up as many times as necessary. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really hard. I'm realizing. Like, he's always in the spot that I kind of need to get through. So we just have to, like, be invisible and go right past him. And that's, that's going to be hard to do when he has his light out and I have my light out. Like, you can't see his eyes or anything. <laughs> when I finish the game, I should write an email to uh, the devs, like, customer support or something. And just say, like, game scared the shit out of me. 10 out of 10. Thanks. <laughs> There were a couple other games that I had the same kind of feeling about. Um, uh, uh, one of them being like, what were some of like the most rage inducing games I've ever played? Um, like Bit Trip Runner. I remember that one gave me a lot of uh, headache. Okay, no, this game is amnesia, now that I'm thinking about it. Because when you blow out the candles, you're just blowing out all the tinder boxes. It's, it's the same game. <laughs> I have decided. <laughs> Outer Wilds, Echoes of the Eye, is just, um, amnesia, the dark descent, in space. Rage inducing, getting over it. Cluster truck. Conquer conquers for uh conquers bad fur day. I have only played getting over it of those. Amnesia with physics, yes, exactly. Physics in space. Um yeah, getting over it is definitely a contender, no question. Um Getting over it is so tongue-in-cheek, though. I respect it. If that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I respect Amnesia, too. Um, the game is just so aware of what it's doing, and it's targeting the, the very people that will push through something like, like that, right? Like, it's not trying to mass market to a large audience, right? <sighs> Hate it. All right, let's go jump in the water. What? <gasps> I don't know why I took damage, but sure. Um, I feel like horror games in general have a small but rabid fan base. Yeah, like, so when, when a horror game, right, when a, when a dev team sets out to make a horror game, right, they're, they're trying to do one thing, and that's scare the player. Whether or not they're successful is debatable, right? But that is their one goal. They're not trying to make a game that'll mass appeal to a lot of people they're trying to appeal to a very core audience same with getting over it it like bennett foddy wasn't trying to make a game that was really largely um approachable or like funny and and therefore hard or whatever right he was trying to make a game that ma he, he made a game that makes fun of people who pursue the challenge, like, no matter what, almost. Um, just based on the narration and the quotes and stuff that he uses, like, it's very tongue-in-cheek. Um, uh, 
uh, in this game, they, um, they targeted Outer Wilds fans and decided to make fun of them. Give them a hard time. Oh, I'm also stalling just a little bit. I'm like, let me finish my thought. My thoughts are very important. It's definitely worth the time to pause the game. Oh, you know what? I got a little bit of schmutz on my controller. Let me just wipe that off. Yep, looking good. Just, yeah, it's connected real well. All right. Let me take my time with this before I torture myself. Okay. We can take path one or path two. I think path two was a little bit easier to navigate. I'm just hiding behind a pillar. I'm backing up a little bit. <laughs> Shit, what the hell? This sucks. <laughs> <gasps> he was behind me? This is hard. This is really hard. Fuck. I, I wonder if I should just like go straight. No, but when I tried to go just like straight through before, he caught me too. So I, I almost feel like I have to let him spot me and then back up and take the other path. Like I have to, oh shit. I have to do the sewer part of amnesia now. All right, so you go down, you alert him, he comes at you, and then you just run the other way. Oh, God. I didn't expect to be this mad. <laughs> I should have paused this. Fuck. Uh, when, you were, uh, when you were playing the main game, you flat out said they could make such a scary horror game if they wanted to. I remember you saying that, Bridge, and I was like, just you wait. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think I had gotten to some of the, um, uh, what was it? Some of the DLC I had played already and, and I knew it was spooky, but I didn't know it got this spooky. Um, even just playing with quantum objects was spooky and jarring. Yeah, it totally is. Everything since landing on the eye could easily have turned into a horror game. Yes, definitely. I mean, it's... I wouldn't say that it's not. I don't know. At first I was like, even earlier today, I was like, I don't think this is really a horror game. Like, it's scary, but I don't think it's really a horror game. And now I'm like, this is a horror game. <laughs> My tune has changed completely after this one section of the game. Oh, okay. Um, I also think that when you have, when you hear that, I can't tell if when you hear that sound, it means you're being pursued or if it's like a, a proximity thing. Wonder what game you've died the most times and this has got to be up there. Yeah, well, I guess it's almost unfair, right? Because, because of the loop, like that kind of turns it into an of course. All right, we're gonna try my idea. Yep. Just go to the end. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, that didn't work. Even with my light out, he saw me. I 
am sweating. Like, my hands are clammy. Oh, dear God. Dear God, why? Ugh. Okay. Um, I will say that since I've started watching, or since I've started playing Echoes of the Eye, I've been very wary of watching any streams of this game because I didn't want to, like, accidentally get spoiled or anything. But I am very excited to watch other people play the DLC. Now. Now that I've played some of it. <laughs> I am eager to watch other people suffer so I don't feel alone. That started as a joke, but it ended as, as just a, uh... A true fact. Let's go. Let's just go this way. I'm just gonna fucking go. I can't even tell if I'm moving. I'm not. Damn it! Oh god. I might need a break from this. This sucks. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Wow, this is so fucking scary, you guys. If you're not playing this game right now, uh, I, I don't know. You should. You should go play it. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I was gonna say there. I need a break. I need a break from that. We'll go back to that in a minute. Um, I know I've got some other areas that I want to check out, so I kind of want to go back to my ship, which seems kind of silly, but... The dam hasn't even broken yet. I was in there for, like, 30 seconds and just, just like, fuck this. Um, let's see. What areas have I not really been to yet? There's more to explore in here, I know. Um... I see like a path up here, maybe, that I haven't been to. I don't know if there's anything there or not. Uh, and then there's stuff with the bell that I haven't figured out yet. Those are like the main areas that I haven't been to. Let's try to get to that little area. Oh, that's the dam. That's fine. Has the fewer scary moments um, been discussed? So I know it exists. I don't intend on using it, but I know it's there. Um, like, ideally, I just don't want to. I want to hold strong. Uh, come on. Oh, uh, well, alright. Because I think I'll be able to do it. Like, I'm confident that I will... I will do it. I'm just gonna do something else first, I think. And yeah, we've been over here, we did that. At least some of it. Um, the bell is revealed now. That's the spirit? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know, I don't... Um... If I can play through Amnesia and Soma, I can get through this. That's my take. Uh, I might not get through it gracefully, but we'll get through it. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's, and it's at the end of the loop, let's go to the bell, actually. I don't know if my flashlight's on. 
There it is. Um, because I do have a code. I have a singular code that might might help us. We grab it. So we found two codes so far. One, we found the destination of where it's supposed to be. The other one, we don't know. Um, it's upside down. That won't help. All right, code is right side up. Uh, where am I? I've only been here once. And I got a little bit confused. Confused? Uh, well, not confused. I just didn't have all the puzzle pieces yet. And now I might have one puzzle piece. And it's always kind of a hassle to get here because you have to wait. Well, like, you can wait by the, the fire. It's not like a huge thing. Um... So what we need, okay, yeah, we don't have these codes yet. The codes that I have, one is one is for a fire, it has a fire icon, and the other one has like a satellite icon or something. Um, but this part, we have to get to the other side to extinguish these lights, right? to figure out what those areas are in the distance. I'm curious where this is in the world, you know? I also know we were trying to find... Can we just walk across here? No. <sighs> That'd be too easy. Okay. Because the other thing I wanted to do today was to find the stage area. I don't remember where the stage is. Um, I tried to find it a couple of times and just got lost. Um... So, let's meditate to the next loop. I feel silly restarting the loop so many times, but it really sucks when you do find something and it's towards the end of the loop and then you can't do anything. God, I can't, I can't believe these deer owl things. Okay. It's funny how scary they are when they don't really do anything. Like, they don't kill you, they just look scary. I mean, they grab you, they surprise you. But they're just like, hey, go get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. And I'm like, you're right. I'm really, I'm not. But also, I need to, whoa, whoopsie daisies. But also, I need to get by. Um, Space wiz bird wizards. That is exactly right. Oh, you kind of auto stop. That's nice. They metaphorically put your lights out. Still not getting any logs. I feel like you don't get as many logs. Uh, open the log? Sure. 
No problem at all. Um. So here's kind of where we're at. We found all of the uh, projection rooms, uh, except there's something more to explore here. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, yeah. I mean, that just goes to here. Yeah. Um, the secret fireplace we haven't gotten through yet. The secret mural is... I don't, I don't 100% remember this one. The reel I found in the slide burning room shows a container mark with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries a container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. I think this is the one that has the, uh, the stage. I found um, the reel I found in the slide, burning tree marked with this glowing symbol, lights are extinguished, the, the figure carries the container down into a dark well. Yeah, so that's the one we were just trying to solve, and then this is the fireplace one. So we're going to try to do this one next, I think. Oh, so... Behind a mural of a large tree. So I remember that we get this bridge. There's like an invisible bridge. I want to find the invisible bridge. I just want to find the invisible bridge. A slide reel from the river lowland shows a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. Bridge! <laughs> And then there's more to explore in the Hidden Gorge. Okay. Did you see everything that you needed there, Cyan? Ooh. Perfect. I really like that about the game, where you can very spoiler free ask where someone is in the game just by looking at their logbook like I think that's so clever because I remember doing that I think I I think I did that uh, during your playthrough bridge once or twice I was like can you just open your log and just take a quick peek I think I did that but I also watched like the majority of your playthrough so I didn't miss very much Okay. So... I actually am just going, like, right around the corner here. Or no. No, I have to go to the one all the way at the bar location. You watched that Making of Outer Wilds video? Oh, yeah, I'm glad you did. Uh, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. I really like the little detail um, where uh, to load the game properly, you, um, you like your character is the center of the universe and everything actually revolves around you, not the sun. I was like, wow, that's so interesting. I have no idea how that works. I am not a programmer, but. I originally didn't have a log that went in at the end of the development because people were getting lost. Yeah, I think it was brilliant. It was a great idea. I think the log... I don't like the log as much in Echoes of the Eye because I think some stuff is worded poorly. And I got pretty confused because the hints that it gave didn't really help me. Specifically for finding the secret passage in the tower... Uh, that took me a really long time, and I had to have a couple um, of trusted tr trusted people who had played the game before give me a, not really like um, they didn't tell me how to solve it or anything, but they were like, 
they, they let me know that the wording is kind of weird, so try thinking about it in different ways. And then I was able to figure it out. But it didn't come easily at all. Because they talk about, like, lights going out in a room, and it so easily makes makes you... The first thing you think of is the lanterns, right? You think of the lanterns going out, but that is not... Uh, not correct. That's not the correct thing. <clears throat> You've heard that th uh, this concept is common for F F FPS games since the more difference between the origin point, the more problems floating in space uh, calculations create. Interesting. I mean, I've seen that in some games like The Last of Us, where, like, if the character isn't looking at something, it doesn't exist, right? And every now and again, you'll find a bug where it doesn't load in some asset because the character's not looking at it. All right, we're not going to fuck this up this time. I always get this wrong. It's this one. Favorite part of the video is how they said if you, your ship, and your scout were all on different planets, there was a risk of crashing the game. Yeah, yeah, because all three planets need to be loaded. Yeah, I think it's an achievement, right, if you crash the game? Or no, they were thinking one of the devs wanted to make it an achievement and decided not to because uh, they didn't want to encourage people to break their game. Example for this would be Minecraft The Far Lands, where the world gen gone funky. Ooh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, they got yelled at. <laughs> Alright. I don't need to be afraid. This area, I haven't seen anybody spooky yet. It's gonna be okay. I have not seen anything spooky here. The one guy that I saw that was spooky, he's watching TV. He is not paying attention to me. He is watching TV. He probably won't be watching TV after I after I make mural equals open. Then he's going to be like, "Oh, lunch." But, you know, I also want to a little bit more thoroughly check around here because I want to go what I, what I want to I want to go down here I'm pretty sure there's like another platform but I can't find the goddamn theater. And what's really annoying about that is that I've been there before. I've seen it. I went there like twice, accidentally. And I have no idea how I found it. That's spooky. Oh, here it is. Oh my god. The whole stream. For context, like 30 or 40 minutes of my last stream, I spent just navigating this house trying to find this place. And royally pissing off like everybody in chat. <laughs> so I know I can walk across one of these things, but I also saw something about a tree. So I'm just going to be a little bit thorough. Huh. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to walk across. We're going to walk across. We're going to do this. Um, as long as we have confidence, we will not fall. Oh. 
<laughs> Not again. God damn it. This is just going to be the whole other area all over again. Wow, that was a horrible noise that was totally unnecessary. Oh, you guys, I came here because I wanted something not scary. Y'all, why does this game want to fuck me? I don't even know why I'm here. At least the other area, I have some direction. I have some knowledge of, like, why I'm in the area, you know? Here, I'm just like, I guess we're getting scared today. If I wanted to play something not scary, I've chosen poorly. <laughs> Listen, you're right. I, I won't deny it. Uh, I just didn't expect the whole stream to be scary today. I like kind of... Oh, that door is open now. I, like, kind of would rather go back to the other area. Because <laughs> at least I know why I want, like, that I want to go down the hole, right? Whereas here, I'm like, I guess I want to go to that door. How badly do I want to go to the door, though? Ugh. I think he's gone. All right, we're going to go. Straight across. I just saw I just saw it. I just saw the thing pointed at me with the light out. I've only been playing for an hour, fuck me. Okay. That is him, right? I swear, the cat's gonna, like, jump up on the bed behind me and I'm gonna cry. I took a couple steps forward.
Oh god. <laughs> you guys, this is too much. <laughs> oh god, how do you do this? I I don't know how to do this. This This is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh man would i like to calm down with some getting over it that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea i'm not gonna lie that sounds really nice oh i've never i never thought that getting over it would be like a safe haven for me you're redeeming getting over it <laughs> okay all right we'll, we'll play some getting over it in in a, in a couple minutes i don't want to i don't want to quit this just this second but holy christ oh my god I, I forgot that i had that i think technically the wording is the next stream but i'm is i mean i'm gonna need to um have a bit of a a cleanse after playing this i want to breathe for a minute <laughs> did my mic like pick that up because i i am gonna have to check the vod because i know that when i like yell my my mic settings cut out so it might just <laughs> it might just sound like shit <laughs> oh my god that's I, that, like, might be the most scared I've ever been in a video game. <laughs> oh, my poor roommates. It's a good thing I'm not playing this at, like, 10 o'clock at night. Fuck, that was worse. That area was worse than the other one. Because this one, it's like... Give me a break. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna need it. Fuck. Oh god, I'm gonna need it. <sighs> oh god. He looked up a route that skips 95% of the encounter. I, if, I'll be honest. I play games a little bit differently when I'm on stream and when I'm off stream, right? When I am on stream, or when I'm off stream, we'll, we'll start with that one. When I am off stream and I'm playing a game just for my own en enjoyment, I'll, I'll use, I'll use game guides. I'll use, like, I'll do stuff like that to skip encounters because these kind of scares and stuff I don't find fun right I don't find them fun to do on my own when no one is around when I'm on stream I like having that more pure experience right I think that that's more interesting to watch and that's, I'm more interested in presenting that, right? That experience. Uh, so when I play something on stream, it's like those heightened experiences are even more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to explain it. But, like, if I get stuck on a puzzle or something on stream, I, I generally won't look up a guide unless I don't really care for the game. Uh, and I just kind of want to get, get through it. Right. Oh, of course, it's already dark still. Because um, what I was kind of thinking when I came back here was instead of going through the whole rigmarole, this whole darkness part, I think I just... I think I just saw a glitch. 
Maybe. You're the opposite. You're more tempted to use a guide when you're streaming. Oh yeah, totally just different play styles, right? Just individually different play styles. Um, I have absolutely no shade towards people that use guides, right? Uh, both on or off stream. You do you, it's your game, right? Um, I think, I think when people judge, whoa. I just walked off the edge. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not going there. Hold, hold up, hold the phone. We're meditating till the next loop. We're, we're, we're not going back there yet. Um, I, I started like four different trains of thought and got distracted from every single one of them. Um, I don't like when people criticize streamers or people who play games for using guides. Um, I think it's, I think that's silly. Um, what else was I saying? Uh, I don't, I don't know what else I was saying. I keep going on these rambles just to like, keep my brain going. I swear, all of my clips are just going to be me going through jump scares. <laughs> Alright, is there... Maybe we should just explore this area in daylight some more. Because there's something else that we missed, right? What's the sealed vault? Oh, yeah, because there was this ring room, right? No, not this one. I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna go back there. And we're gonna explore it in the light of day for a minute. Um... <laughs> the uh the bird people escalated their violence you know that wouldn't surprise me i'm glad that this ship also like pulls us in a little bit that is nice makes it easier to land <laughs> that is what it feels like they are escalating their violence Um, so, uh, if the lock on the door doesn't work with the controller using the mouse once or restarting the game should help. Uh, yeah, for, so I can use my right, uh, joystick. It's just my left one that doesn't work with the click. Um, so, I, you know what, we don't even need this because we're not gonna, we're not gonna go there. Not right now. Maybe later. Uh, actually, this is, this is the wrong way too, but we'll just go back down. It's fine. It's fine. I'm so frazzle-brained. I'm gonna have nightmares. I actually had nightmares the other night, not because of this game, but I'm, like, at risk of having nightmares. <laughs> it has happened. This has been an extremely productive hour, at least. Oh, can't, can't. Go back. Um, in terms of learning things about the world and how to navigate it, and I bet, 
Oh, I bet you. At the end of each of these passages is gonna be the code for those locks. If I was a game dev, that's how I'd do it. There's three different locations, there's three different locks that I need to unlock. Um, but yeah, I bet even unplugging my controller and plugging it back in will fix the problem. Um, I just know if I do that, it's gonna mess with my sound settings. Because, oddly enough, my computer likes to think that my uh, PS4 controller is both a speaker and a mic. So it just defaults to that for some reason. It's not hard to fix. I just don't don't want to. Do do doom. Welcome in. First time playing the DLC? It sure is. I am taking a break from Ultra Spooks right now and uh, figuring out what I missed in this area. Uh, oh, that's right. That That's broken. How are you doing today? Oh, god damn. Uh, my partner played this, uh, the DLC right around when it came out. And, um, he didn't find... Uh, some of those scroll rooms. He just, like, missed some of that. And I have no idea how he figured out where to go. <laughs> I'm excited to finish the game so that I can watch his playthrough to see how he puzzled it out, because if I hadn't found that secret room, I would have been stuck for a while. So I've been through here trying to see if there's any of these buildings that I maybe haven't- maybe that last one that I haven't actually been in. I've been in that little room. Have I finished the main game? I have. Yeah, I- I- I think I even 100% it. I think I completed all the logs. Um, I've played- I would pull up my log, but I obviously don't have my ship. Um, but I'd, I'd show you where we are and what we've completed so far if I could. Um, but to give you an idea, can I shoot through here? No, it's too small. Okay. Uh, to give you an idea, we figured out how to blow out the candles at the uh, dream dream world area with the the big hole in the in the middle. Um, we figured out how to turn out those lights and encountered spooky guys. So I, I gave that a good few attempts, and after a notable number of frights, I decided to take a break from that. So then we went to a different area where the little theater is. I thought that there was a a door in here, maybe not. Uh, but we found more spooky guys. Decided I needed a break from that. There is... We did walk past a door, right? Like, I'm not making that up. Oh, it's lower. Okay. It's two floors down, not just one. That always freaks me out. So... Maybe we won't actually be able to see it. There... Oh, oh, can I... Oh, well, that doesn't really help either. How do I get in this room? I'm gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna get there. Maybe we have to go in from underneath? That sound... That seems wrong, though. I don't... We can maybe check there again. 
just so that we can see a little better, perhaps. Ooh, there's a scroll wheel in there. It'd be cool if we could project onto the wall. So I'm like pretty sure it's that room. And we just can't quite see into it. Why can't it rotate? There we go. But that's not the same place. Arr! Maybe waiting and trying to go underneath is the way to go. Because maybe back there, there's like... I want to get in there. Um... That's my best idea right now, is if we wait, we might be able to get in from underneath. That's my, that's my best guess. Hard to confirm. How's the dam doing? Where is it at? Not much is happening. Okay. We will wait, we will wait, we will wait. I can't believe how scary this game is. Sorry, that's all I'm talking about, is how fucking scared shitless I am. It is very impressive how, like, I don't know. It's, it's very well designed. It's a very well designed game. I'm also just kind of waiting for the clock to tick here for a second. Uh, I could go across and like use that campfire, but if I do and the dam breaks, then I'm just kind of stuck over there. It's hard to get back here. So I'm just gonna wait a minute. We can watch it. We can watch the dam break. I don't know if I've ever like sat and like waited for it. I don't know how long it's going to be, but chat, how you doing? I hope everybody's having a nice Sunday. A nice day or night, wherever you are. We got a mountain of snow here. We got like totally snowed in. We vibing? We're vibing. We're, hey, bridge, we're inspecting the bridge. This is your calling. <coughs> oh, that's cinnamon. Cinnamon in my throat. Sorry that this is not the, uh, not the exciting po uh, setting part. Bored, hello. Making dinner? What are you having for dinner? It's about to bridge out. <laughs> what a good emote. Will that go all the way across? Oh my god. Will it make it to the other side? No, that was even less far. Alright, what if we go that over there? The physics in this game are wild. I was curious to see what the dam looked like, but can't quite see it. 
Let's try getting it a little bit closer. Yeah, here we go. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Got a little higher. Salad? Sounds good. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Whoosh. 16 hours into your 24 hour shift. Holy shit. Uh, we'll go back up just just to make sure that we're, we have the high ground. Is um, our 24 hour shifts like I assume I assume you enjoy them because you get to overall work in a more condensed amount of time and, and it feels like less. That would be my guess, right? Did this work? Oh no, it's still way too high. Damn. Then how do we get in here? Okay. We're just gonna use our, our brain a little bit more. Oh, we were just in the wrong spot. Great. Sorry to make y'all wait through that. My bad. <laughs> That's me playing this game, like, I don't know, 50% of the time. It's like, how do I get into this room? I bet I have to wait. I bet I have to wait 20 minutes. All right, good. This is the room that we were looking at. Okay, we were just looking in the wrong fucking place. It's fine. Okay. What also kind of sucks is now we have to go over there and it's gonna be harder to get there. Or no, we have to, never mind, it's up, it's on this side. We're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, I know where to go. I know what to do, I know where, what we're, I don't know what we're gonna see, but I know what to do. Okay, I always get this wrong. Through and around, hell yeah. This one was caused by the snowstorm. Highly unusual. Gotcha. Basically, if I agreed to work my normal hours, I'd be forcing the person you were relieving to drive home in the snowstorm. Gotcha. I don't know if I've... I can't remember the last time that I stayed up for a full 24 hours. Uh, working or not. So I have been here before in case you were curious about that. Uh, there's the light. We're gonna need that. And here's where we want to be. We'll go grab that light. Uh, but yeah, a 24-hour shift, like, I'd probably get used to it. It sounds like hell, but I think I'd get used to it. Um, and I'd probably prefer to work, like, two 24-hour shifts in a week and then not work the rest of the week. Oh, this is the top of the tower, right? What the fuck? What does this mean? Used to work, uh, worse hospital security and would have to do 16 hour shifts. Figured that my short term, figured out their short term memory lasts 14 hours. Forget how you got there. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a lot. You're a bit loopy, but okay. <laughs> well, it's, it'll be over soon. 
At least you get to watch Twitch. Like, that's nice. Oh, this is something outside the entrance. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Why don't we go do that? That sounds dope. That sounds way less scary than everything else that we've been doing in this game. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's go do that. Isn't you been there long when Tiny Zamboni drove by to clean the floors around 4 a.m.? I think the longest, like, hours I've done for work were probably, like, conventions. I used to tour conventions selling art, and some of those days are long. Um, and then when it ends, you don't even, like, you can, you don't even generally go straight back to your hotel room or whatever. You just, you have to pack up and you clean and lock stuff up and... If you're at a con, like, maybe you want to do con stuff. But I don't really do that anymore because it was just so much work. It was, it was crazy. Hull breach. And the, the, the thing is gone. I found a slide reel in the hidden gorge that shows an explosion blowing a hole in the side of the stranger. Let's go take a look at that. Let's do it. That sounds cool. You were trapped in a hospital once during a hurricane for a week, got paid to exist, only worked two shifts. Wow. I, um... I listened to a podcast. This is gonna be a little bit more dark. Sorry in advance. Damn it. on the right side of the ship. Uh. Because this is not going to show us the picture, unfortunately, is it? Nope. Let's leave the ship for a second. Um, I listened to a podcast about the hospitals uh, around when Hurricane Katrina happened. Um, and it was some of, like, the scariest shit that I have ever heard of. Especially happening at, like, a medical facility. Where they just, like, lost all power and they were, like, deciding who in the hospital was going to live and who was going to die. And, like, some doctors started euthanizing people after, like, three days. Or, or less. Uh, like, two days. Um, got a name. This was called Radio Lab. Um, and the episode name was, um, Playing God. And they talk about a couple different topics, but the biggest one that they go into is, is triage and how they resor result resorted to triage at during Hurricane Katrina because they couldn't get people out. It was it was really fascinating and also terrifying. Like I would never want to be in that position. So Ooh, that looks like it. lose my ship here. Oh. I can walk on this. Oh. 
Oh, I can go in here. Whoa, what? Oh, I know where we are. Does it, is this also a vacuum? It's not. Wow, okay. There is so much more here than I expected. Um, let's go check the last one. I've been um, binging, well, there's your problem lately, Engineering Disaster Podcast. Ooh, I would love that. That sounds really cool. Uh, I, I really like true, true crime less so, but like interesting philosophical kind of questions i'm really into uh have i played tacoma i have not this podcast will kill you is fantastic if you enjoy medieval mystery and illnesses that also sounds really cool i think i've i think i've listened to an episode of that actually that sounds very familiar This looks like it's supposed to teach me how to go to sleep at the fire, which is kind of interesting because obviously I've already figured that out. I found this way later. I want to look at this one again. So picking up the lantern. Going in here. Resting with an, a, a burnt out lantern. Oh, if you carry a lantern. Wait. What? If I carry a lantern, something will happen? Like, not an artifact, but a lantern? I'll have to try that and see what happens. Also, slide reel. Light lantern. Well, I know that the lantern, I know that the the artifact is also a light. This is the basement of that other building that I was in earlier. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm so glad we figured that out. How... How did I get in here originally? That's the question. Like... Aha! Here it is. Staircase! Ha ha ha! That was cool! That was really cool. I could also use this as an entrance to get here faster. If I really wanted to. This one's got some burned slide reels. kind of similar to Outer Wilds in a sense. I'll have to check that out. I'm always looking for game recommendations. Um, oh right, we can't go through here and get a lantern. We're gonna have to go around. That's fine. Um, we have to jump across, right? Yeah. Well, don't have to. We could have gone around, but... We're gonna go get that lantern.
You definitely recommend it? Hell yeah. I've got so many games that, like, I must play. <laughs> I, um... So I've already decided that after I finish Outer Wilds, I'm gonna st I'm gonna play Death's Door because um, fuck I keep missing this. Um, Death's Door has been on my list for a really long time. Um, like basically since it came out, I've been like I want to play this. Um, I also really want to play the Life is Strange remastered games. Really excited for those. Um, Ooh, uh, uh, um, the return of Obra Dinn. That is also on my list. I've heard great things about that game. I actually have it, so like I can play it anytime. I just have to, just have to do it. But yeah, Death's Door is on Game Pass, and I'm not keeping Game Pass after next month. So February is my last month to play games that are on there, at least for a little while. I might resub, but. I want to play all the games that I intend to first. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. And then it do it shows you, huh? That's really cool. So this is this is the uh, how to get into Dream World. It's it's funny that I found I figured out how to get into Dream World way faster than finding these. How did I even find find these reels? Uh, oh, it was in this room. Yeah, if I had just like explored or this building, if I would explored that building first, I guess. Interesting. I also fully understand now why everybody was freaking out so much that I wasn't finding this place that I was supposed to get to. Because, yeah. Just on the other side of getting here. Was it this one? Shit. This one. If I had gotten here first, or not first, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I can barely talk straight. Um, if I had found that area, I would have immediately gotten to a very spooky part of the game, and that would have been exciting to watch. <laughs> Somehow I understand. Uh, been meaning to play Oberdin for a long time. Missed it when it was on Game Pass, so I had to buy it now. It'll, I mean, it'll come back to Game Pass. Like, if you're, if you're already paying for Game Pass and you've got other stuff to play in the meantime, um, it, it'll definitely come back to Game Pass. I, I feel pretty confident about that. Um, because even Outer Wilds was on Game Pass and then it was taken off of Game Pass, when the DLC came out, and then they just put it back on. Seems like stuff rotates pretty, pretty well. Can't talk straight? <laughs> Can I talk LGBT? Uh, I, I am... I am LGBT, so I guess that counts. <laughs> Okay, so I could go up here and put out the lights and make that guy start chasing me. Uh, I could also just scope out my path again um, before I freak myself out. Because what I have to go is I have to go here, right? Actually, I have a better idea. Oh, it's not going to work, though. I have an idea, but it won't work. I would love to just do this first, right? So you come straight across, go up. It's a good thing I'm doing this now. You go up and then you go up again. Uh, 
and then you go in here. You go all the way to the end. This is gonna suck to navigate in the dark. You light that. And then you take a right. Uh, never mind. Go out. And then back. God, this is gonna suck to do in the dark. <sighs> that is the path. Um, one of my thinking is like, what if I do that first, right? And then I come up here and then I put out the light and then that opens the door, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, one aspect of Outer Wilds you love so much is it's so non-linear. You can stumble upon something that only has significance later on. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I love that. Totally love that. Um, it's been really interesting since I played it. Un understandably, I've um, encouraged a bunch of friends and other streamers to play it. And seeing what they discovered... <coughs> Huh. Oh, excuse me. Ugh, seeing what they discovered first versus what I discovered. I hate the noise. Um, I thought it was really fascinating. Even just like little things, like which planet did you go to first? That's different for everyone, right? Or a lot of people. <sighs> Hate it. Absolutely despise it. Dislike the door, too. Battle Rock was your first? For me, it was, uh, yeah, so it did go out. Oh, God. I'm gonna wait here for a second because I have a hunch he's gonna walk past me. And then I'll be able to just, like, dart across and hopefully he'll be on this side and I'll be on the other side. Uh, I went to Giant's Deep first. I just, like, picked a planet in the sky and just, like, went there. Um... I haven't even heard anything. Y'all, I am terrified. Oh, what? There's a whole other path there? I'm like, this is actually a lot. Um, I really hate to say it, but there, I might need to turn the spooks down. Um, I do not consider this a spoiler. Uh, so chat, feel free to answer this question. If you turn off scary, like if you click that setting in the game, what does it change? Does it make it so these guys aren't walking around? Like, what, what does that actually do?
The music is less scary and they don't have their short sprint when they're near you. Okay. He's gonna still be there, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Make okay. It makes a certain encounter much less likely to happen. You know exactly when it's coming, and there's no sudden sound cues or aggressive things to jump scare you. Okay. You can walk away. Um I don't think I'm gonna change it. I don't think I'm gonna change it. Um, thank you for answering the question. Um, I probably I would have just looked it up after stream, but um, I I do respect the devs for doing that because it does. It that sounds like a nice compromise, right? There's still that element of scary, but they're not like crazy hitting you over the head with it, you know. Uh, I do think I need a break from this. Um, I'm really enjoying the game. Um, I'm just also, like, I wasn't expecting this. This, this is not what I expected. Uh, so, <laughs> I just, I just need a break. Um, I'm gonna have a BRB. I'm gonna have a BRB, uh, and get some more tea and use the restroom. Um, and then we'll play, I don't know, maybe half an hour of getting over it or something. We'll just change this up for, for a few minutes. And then I'll either come back to the game after that, after I've had, like, some time to kind of process what I have to do here. Or, uh, I'll just come back tomorrow. 